Hi everyone, welcome to Toronto. Thank you for joining me, Cerise from CeriseFairfax.com. Right now we are standing in front of the beautiful Allen Gardens. However, that's not the focus today. I will be making a video on that in a minute and posting that as well. But today the focus is right here. Okay, Jarvis and Carlton Streets has something called Ride Toronto Station Kiosk. And this is what the station looks like. Very simplistic. This is what the bikes look like. If you're coming to Toronto for a special event and you are going to be up and down the streets, especially when a street is closed off, the last thing you want to be in is a cab. I'm not knocking the cabs, but a lot of the times they get stuck in traffic and the meter goes up. So why not grab one of these? Very easy to take, very comfortable as well to ride, great comfy seats, modern bikes, and the wheels are awesome. Okay, the tires are always pumped. And as you can see, it's a big business because all of the bikes are gone except one. Now, let's go over here and see how you get your bike. So it's 24 hours, you're gonna pay $7. For three days, $15. If you're late, the first half hour, you get some forgiveness, it's zero. But the most you will pay, if you're 150 minutes late, for instance, is $7. So at the end of the day, what's going to happen is you will be charged $14, which is two days. It might be better for you if you're in the city for a while to get the three day deal because that's $15 and you're only paying a dollar more than you would for 48 hours, but you're really getting 72 hours. Now, it's touch screen and what you do is just pretty much, you say you wanna buy a bike pass and it says no bikes are currently available. I guess this one here is broken, so it's not going to let you get one. But that's okay because there's these bike stations on almost every corner going down the street. You can also get them by Union Station. Toronto is very convenient when it comes to the bike stations. Just to let you know, you purchase your membership by using the following instructions. And then uh, it, they will give you a five digit ride code and that will slip out from here. On that ride code, you per plug that into here and then the bike is released. And that's pretty much it. When you return it, you, you can go to any station. You don't have to come to this one. You don't have to go to the one that you got it from, but you definitely do wanna make sure you wait for the green light to confirm that the bike has been securely locked. And at the end, you're good to go. So yeah, you can even buy a casual pass from your phone. All you have to do is download the transit app and that's it and that's it bike share toronto i hope you guys enjoy your trip to toronto whether it's for an event a special occasion or just to come visit this beautiful city